Like, that is so gnarly sounding. I love that so much. What's up everyone? Chris with B Minus Demos. And if you are new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you're returning, I say this all the time, you're so awesome. I genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, like the video, leave me a comment telling me, I don't know, let me know what guitar player got you into playing guitar. Like what was the first not sound, but like, what was the first time you were aware of a particular guitar player and that person inspired you? This week's video is gonna be a little, I don't know, scattered, uh, a little more scattered than they normally are um, because it's not what I was planning to do. I was originally planning to showcase a couple of pedals. I have this uh, Old Blood Noise Excess uh, that I did a short little video with last week. Um, and I was gonna do a more in-depth video this week. Um, but then yesterday morning, I sat down just to play a little bit. And when I sat down, I saw on my computer that I had downloaded and forgotten about the Tonocracy Guitar Suite. Now this is your typical kind of guitar, you know, virtual rig where you've got amps, cabs, effects, things like that. Uh, and I had not played it before. I downloaded it after seeing a video here on YouTube and then just kind of forgot about it. The reason I decided to download it was because it's free. And look, I'm into anything that's free. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not, but I'm at least gonna try it out. So I sat down yesterday morning to try this out. And let me just say, I really, really wish I had decided to record my initial impressions of it because I was kind of blown away by this free piece of software. I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time talking because I am gonna get to the sounds pretty quickly, but uh, I spent probably three hours playing and just having fun. And it's been a really long time since I've done that. A lot of times when I play, it's because I'm prepping for one of these videos, but I was just playing and having fun. It was amazing. Now, I'm gonna give you guys the disclaimer that I've given before and something that I say quite often. Uh, you're gonna say, hey, is it like the, the real thing? No, no, it's not like the real thing. This is a free piece of software and some of these amps are gonna run you three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. So no, it's not like the real thing, but it is really good. In fact, it's so good. I talk all the time about how the AC30 is my favorite amp and it's kind of where I start when I'm testing something new and then I check out other models after that. Um, this is my second favorite AC th virtual AC30 behind only the Nimbrini Audio. Uh, I think they call theirs the DC30 but it's their AC30 version and that thing's like I don't know, I think it's on sale right now for $30, but when it's not on sale, it's like $130. This is free, okay? It's free. I played forever. I, in, I, I brought in some of my own IRs. Didn't even use them. It's the, probably the first time I've ever just used what was already built in. In fact, I know it's the first time I've ever used the built-in 112 and 212 cabinets and really, really liked them. So I'm gonna go over a couple of sounds. I'm not gonna go through every single model, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up one of the amp models that they have. I'm gonna try to find a cab that kind of matches it, you know. Uh, I'll play just a little bit. I'm not gonna mess with any settings. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is if the volume spikes too hard, I may pull down the, the output volume um, just to keep from clipping really bad. Uh, other than that, I don't plan on making any changes. That said, I will be periodically kicking on this Pinebox Custom uh, Motel. This is kind of a rat kind of thing, um, but it's supposed to be kind of geared toward more towards a lower gain rat style. So I'll kick this on from time to time. Um, I don't even think I'm gonna mess with any of the settings. Volume is at about, I don't know, 75, 80%. Tone is at about 55%. And drive is at about 25%. Uh, so, <clears throat> and then we've got this little transmitter toggle that basically just kind of opens up the compression a little bit. Um, 
yeah, I might kick that on from time to time. Other than that, I'm not gonna change anything in the settings. We're just gonna go through these and see how they sound as they are. So let's go. Okay, so we're just gonna start. I'm gonna go down the list. I'm not gonna hit every single one of these because some of them just seem a little redundant to me or aren't really my thing, but I am gonna probably hit most of them. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll try to pull up a cab that kind of goes with it. Uh, we're gonna start with the first one on the list, Britplex 100, Marshall Plexi. Y'all, I'm not a Plexi guy. I don't like them. I really kind of dig them. Like, that is so gnarly sounding. I love that so much. Uh, let's see, 65 Deluxe, so we've got a Fender here. Let's go with a, go with a 112 Fender with a Gen All right, tuned up, let's try. So I am on uh, the Bridge Pickup, which is a Seymour Duncan. Uh, JB. Uh, also, you guys have not seen this before. I just picked this up a few hours ago, traded uh, the SG and a little bit of change for it. Um, and I'm really digging it. Uh, JB in the bridge, 59 in the neck. No tone, two volumes. I really like that. Um, but yeah, so we've got this uh, deluxe Fender style with a Fender 112 with, with a jet. <laughs> Turn on the pedal now. I love that. I love it. I love it. All right, let's see. Go back to amp. Now we're going to pull up the Vox AC30. VX30 Chime is what they call it. And we'll go with a VX30 212 Blue. So Almico Blues, basically. So, so much. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Tweed Deluxe is gonna be next. So let's go with uh, Fender Ox, Oxford, uh, I guess. Uh, and here's our Tweed. <laughs> Super solid. Uh, let's see. Freeman BE100. Uh, so this is going to be like a Friedman style thing. So we'll go back to this Mars uh, Mofo 412. This is the same thing I had on with the Plexi. So it's just, uh, you know, Marshall 412. <laughs> Oops, that was the middle position. Love that. 
That sounds so good. It gets a little noisy when I kick on the motel, but honestly, it's not terrible. You hear that hum? That's gonna be one that I use more than I thought I would. We've got a Freeman BE100 sat. I'm assuming that's a little more saturated, maybe. Here we have the D-Rex Red. Uh, I am very embarrassed to say that when I was playing this yesterday morning, it was early and I just wasn't thinking clearly. I could not figure out what this was supposed to be. But if you look at these knobs, this is clearly supposed to be a dual rectifier. <laughs> It's a little quieter than everything else. I'm gonna bump up the master volume just a bit. Just a little bit more. So sick. I, the the cab with it is an ML Mega oversize. I'm assuming that's supposed to be some kind of you know oversized Mesa. Let's see. Humble is going to be a Dumble. Honestly, that's not something I'm into. Um, this is free, so you can check that out. The Britman 45. Britman. Britman 45. Um, JTM 45. JMP 45. Something like that. Uh, we'll do a Marshall 212 uh, with greenbacks. That one is pretty loud. Uh, a lot louder than the Mesa was. This, again, this is one of my favorites. I love this so much. kick on the motel. So sick. I love that. Uh, let's see. Then we have, all right, let's go to a 412. We'll go to, we'll just go back to this, uh, no, 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 I don't wanna do that. Oh, EVML right here. Uh, I'm assuming that's like an EVH 412. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Evan 53 Red. Whoop, uh, there we go. So this is our 5150, 5153 type thing. Again, the heavier the gain, the higher the gain, rather, uh, the quieter it seems to be when you load it up. You could put some time into this and get a really, I mean, not a ton of time, just a little bit of time, get an incredible sound out of it. And this is free. It blows my mind. Love that. Absolutely. Uh, 5150 Blue Channel. Again, it's a little quieter. Now we've got 
We've got two more we're going to hit. Back to the cab. We're going to go back to a Marshall 412. Amp. Brit 800. This is absolutely, like, I love all the Marshall models on here. <laughs> A lot of clarity in this, and this is just, it's just pulling it up the way they've got it in there without messing with anything. I love it so, so much. Gonna kick on the motel just because, why not? While I've got the motel on, I'm gonna uh, put the transmitter switch down. It's been in the up position, which I think opens up the compression a little more. We're gonna put it down just to hear that. Back up into the up position, and we're going on to our last one. Gemini Clean. This is a Fender again. We'll go with a Fender 112 again. Fender 112 with a Jensen. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I think, you know, like that's, that sounds like a Fender. It makes me think of a Fender. Is it perfect? No, uh, but this is free. So, uh, it might as well be perfect. Um. that so much. Uh, a set of speakers in here that I don't really know what it's supposed to be that I kind of dig. I don't know how it'll sound on this. This Fender Jaybird, it's a 215 cab. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I assumed it was like maybe a bass cab, but it, they've got other bass cabs on here, but there are no like bass amps. So I don't know if that's what it is or not, but. <laughs> There we go, that's it, that's that's the last one. Uh, really the only ones I skipped were the Dumble models because I don't know anything about Dumbles and I don't really like the way they sound on here. Um, and then the uh, Friedman BE100 Sat, uh, which I'm assuming maybe is like a higher level of saturation. But uh, hey, that's it. I think this is awesome. If you have not tried this, I it's free. Try it, download it. I think it's really, really good. All right, everyone, that is Tonocracy. Uh, it is a completely free guitar suite. Um, 
you've got your amps, you've got cabs, you've got effects. You can load IRs, um, and I have a couple loaded in, but I did not use it for any of uh, these demos. And if I'm not mistaken, you can also load in captures, um, you know, something that you might have gotten off of a Tonex or a Quad Cortex or, or whatever. I don't know that much about the capture stuff, but you can load in your own captures on here from what I understand. The fact that this is free is mind blowing to me. Like this is genuinely good. And this is probably going to be my amp platform of choice going forward. Look, I wanna know what everyone else here thinks, you know? Uh, did it sound good? Did it sound better than some of the videos I did? You know, I, I just did the Opus versus the uh, Two Notes Genome. Did this sound better than Genome? Because to me, it does. And it definitely seems to work better with pedals than the Genome did. So let me know what you guys think. Listen, I hope everyone has just an amazing, fantastic week. I'll see you next week. Later.